Okay, I know there will be two extreme sides to this question, but does David Sweat look too much like Henry Cavill? Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. A new photo of David Sweat has been released and people are mistaking him for Henry Cavill. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I did too. When I first saw this photo, I thought I was looking at Henry Cavill until I saw the caption. And half of social media agrees and the other half don't. So today, let's talk about that. The photo in question of David Sweat is this one reportedly taken from a month ago. Now, what makes me instantly think this is Cavill is the mouth and the physique. Those two features are very similar to Henry Cavill when he has a beard. If we compare it to this photo of Cavill, the similarities become more clear. The David Corrin sweat we are all used to seeing is this one. A clean-shaven, shorter-haired, skinnier David Corrin sweat. Whereas now he is clearly preparing for the Superman role. With the beard, the long hair and the hat, he's covering a lot of his facial features and the added muscle pulls us further away from what we are used to. So for me, in this specific photo, he does look a lot like Henry Cavill. We also have this photo of David working out, but now clean shaven, which was taken after the previous image. Now in this, we can't see his whole face again, but we can see the mouth, the chiseled jawline, and the bulky physique. And if we compare it to this photo of Henry Cavill, we can see very clear similarities. So, two new photos of David Sweat with and without a beard, and from what we can see, he looks a lot like Henry Cavill. So, back to the original question. Does David Sweat look too much like Henry Cavill? Now, I completely understand those of you who say yes. We saw Henry Cavill as Superman this time last year, so his Superman is very fresh in our brains. And the new Superman for the DCU has very similar physical features as Henry Cavill. So if you think he looks too much like Cavill for your liking, I completely understand why. However, for me, whilst I completely understand where you are coming from, I think David Sweat just looks a lot like Superman. I think saying Sweat looks a lot like Cavill is a compliment to both actors, and the casting department on both movies for casting two actors who look like Superman. What does kal el Superman look like in the comics? White, black hair, blue eyes, chiseled jawline, and ripped. Which is exactly what both actors look like. So, whilst I am reminded of Cavill when looking at Corrin Sweat, it's not because David is a rip-off of Cavill, it's because they were both well cast and we can compare it to more actors. Brandon Ruth and Christopher Reeve's Superman both had those exact same features. Black hair, blue eyes, chiseled jawline, and were ripped. Obviously not as ripped as Cavill is and what Corrin Sweat seems to be getting to, but they were still in very good shape. We don't really hear people say saying Cavill is a rip-off of Brandon Ruth or Christopher Reeves. In fact, in Man of Steel, the scene when Superman is looking up at the world engine has been praised by many as Cavill looks like Reeves in that scene. So I don't think people are complaining that they look similar because they wanted to see a new Superman who didn't look like Superman. I think the issue was that because Corrin Sweat looks so similar to Cavill, why didn't they just keep Cavill? We had this whole debate as to why Cavill was replaced and the reasoning was that Gunn wanted to have a younger Superman and should be allowed to cast someone in his vision. But now people are upset because Gunn's vision is to cast someone who looks a lot like the previous Superman and that previous actor wanted to continue as Superman. Which is why I completely understand why people are upset. It makes sense. I was in that camp too until I thought about a couple of different factors. The first is that this is a reboot. I know some small characters are staying and I disagree with that, but the key characters are all being rebooted. So that is the main reason why a recast is happening for Superman. It would be like Brandon Ruth playing Superman in Man of Steel. It just wouldn't make sense. Sure, he looks like Superman, and I liked his version of the character in Superman Returns, but this is a new version of Superman and a rebooted version of the character. So a new actor has to come in. Following on from that first point, the second point is that there is a lot of history with Cavill's Superman. He's not a young Superman anymore. He's been in three movies and cameoed in one, stretching across nine years of storytelling. For Cavill to then be brought back to a year or so after he becomes Superman just wouldn't make sense. We have seen his Superman go from his very first fight right up to defeating Steppenwolf and Lois being pregnant. 
Erasing all of that and starting again after Man of Steel, or even a rebooted version of his origin story would just not make any sense and it would feel like a step backwards. It would be an insult to Henry's history of the character. It would be like Christian Bale completing the Dark Knight trilogy and then Snyder coming in and saying we're going to ignore the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises and continue your story from Batman Begins. There's just no point. The actor is connected to the movies they have been in and no matter how much you try and say this is a new version of the character but with the same actor, it just won't feel right to the audience. They will always remember the previous movies they were in. And to those saying Gunn should just continue with the DCEU and tell a new Henry Cavill Superman story following on from Black Adam, would you really want to see James Gunn direct a new Henry Cavill Superman story? I'm almost certain that most who are upset that Gunn is in charge and that he got rid of Cavill also would have been upset if Gunn was then telling a Superman story with Henry Cavill's Superman. For Gunn, I just don't think there is a win-win scenario here. He either upsets those fans for telling a new Superman story with Henry Cavill that isn't similar to what Snyder did, or he upsets those fans by getting rid of Cavill and telling a new Superman story with a new actor. At least the benefit of a new actor means that when it comes out, there is far less of a connection to Snyder's and Cavill's story. People nitpicked the 10 second cameo in Black Adam for not having the right colour suit and the wrong theme. Can you imagine what those same fans would do with an entire movie directed by James Gunn? Why would Gunn risk his DC Universe on a Superman that gets scrutinised by some for the smallest reasons? And that's for people who love and hate this version of Superman. I see nitpicking from both sides. Superman didn't smile enough, or they used the wrong theme for the 10 second cameo. Both sides have relentlessly nitpicked Cavill's Superman, so why would Gunn want to bother with that? The third thing to talk about is the age gap. There is a 10 year difference between David and Henry, and Gunn wants an actor in his early 30s. Right now, you could argue that Cavill could play that part with a little bit of makeup and hair dye or a wig, but let's say in 10 years time, could Cavill look the right age? And the honest answer is, you don't know. Gunn wants longevity and Cavill can't guarantee that with his age. At least Gunn knows he will get at the bare minimum 10 years out of Corrin Sweat and Gunn is planning a long term future for the DCU. So he needs his actors who will be in the DCU long term to be able to look the right age throughout. Cavill might not be able to do that. We also need to recognise that yes, Gunn could tell a 10 year story of Cavill's Superman from the current age his Superman is, but he doesn't want to. He wants to tell a younger Superman story, which you may not like, but it is a valid point. The Snyder Cut movement was fighting for a director's vision, where Warner Brothers meddled with that vision, which wasn't fair. So we can't now say Gunn shouldn't be allowed to create his vision just because we don't approve it. If the final product comes out and it's not good enough, then you can criticise it. But to say Gunn shouldn't be allowed to tell his story, I think would be quite hypocritical. The fourth factor is the cost. Cavill is an extremely expensive actor now. Gunn wants his actors to be able to be those characters over multiple forms of media and that means paying those actors to do so. If Warner Brothers paid Cavill $250,000 for a 10 second cameo in Black Adam and $20 million for Justice League, imagine how much he'd cost for a new Superman movie. And imagine how much he would cost to do work for animation voiceovers or a cameo in a different movie or series. And when the box office has been a no-show for 8 DCEU movies in a row, that cost is not justifiable. So bringing in a younger actor who costs far less but can act very well and looks like Superman is kind of a no-brainer. For an extremely weak brand like DC, would you rather an older, more expensive actor whose version of the character gets nitpicked by fans who love him and hate him, or a younger, cheaper actor who has a completely fresh start? For a storytelling and business decision, going for David Corrensweat over Henry Cavill makes a lot of sense. And I hate the fact that it makes a lot of sense. I hate that there is a reason why it makes sense to get rid of my favourite version of my favourite hero. And I know some will think I'm turning on Cavill or something like that, but it really isn't the case. You guys all know how upset I was when Cavill announced he was no longer Superman. 
It was honestly the lowest point for me as a DC fan. I was so excited to see a Man of Steel 2, and I would still love to see it, and a Justice League 2 and 3. But Gunn isn't looking for a short-term fix, he is looking at the long term, and for that, David Corrinsweet was the right choice for the DCU going forward. We've had negative reactions to castings in the past, and then they've become fan favourites. I understand the upset and anger towards Gunn for what happened, but I think your anger should be directed towards Zaslav and the previous regime. They were the ones who wasted Cavill's potential, and Zaslav was the one who gave us fans false hope. He messed us around. Gunn has just been hired to try and fix it all and do what he thinks is best. So whilst I do sympathise with being upset that Cavill isn't Superman anymore, and I too do still feel sad that we won't see him in the suit again, I think I think it's pretty clear that there is valid reasoning as to hiring David Corrinsweet as Superman for the DCU. An actor who looks like Superman, who is younger and cheaper, and has no connections to the previous Superman story. It's an entirely fresh start, which is what DC needs right now. So to answer the question, does David Corrinsweet look too much like Henry Cavill? The answer is no. He just looks like Superman. So hopefully this video has made you rethink this whole Superman legacy drama, and hopefully you feel more positive towards the hiring of David Corrinsweet. But if you don't, make sure to let me know why in the comments below. I'd love to talk more about this topic. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.